I just landed in Sydney and I'm super excited. I quickly checked into my hostel and now I'm on the way to some vegan food. I'm just gonna go to the closest vegan restaurant that was open right now. I just found the vegan restaurant, but they're out of food. I thought, since I am in Sydney, I need to go to a real vegan restaurant and not just a vegan options place. I've seen so many vegan options places already. There's water above me. It looks cool, look. Wow. Um, okay, not get sidetracked. I'm gonna check if they have Wi-Fi and if I can find another vegan restaurant. Otherwise, I'm need to go for a vegan options place because I'm starving. It's from a vegan options place after all, and it's nice to be in a country again where it's completely normal to have vegan options. I've missed that. I just realized that my hostel has a rooftop terrace and you can see the Sydney Opera House from here. I'm gonna check it out from up close. Actually, I've been to Sydney before. I forgot how cool it is. It cannot get any more Sydney than that. Opera House, Harbour Bridge, and behind me, the Skyline. First all vegan restaurant in Sydney, uh, Bad Ombres. I can't eat that much on my own, so I only had the nachos, but they were really nice. And now my battery is gonna die, so I'm gonna head back to the hostel. Good morning. I'm about to leave my hostel. Something cool about it. The hostel is at an archaeological dig site. It's kind of cool. For breakfast, I'm gonna go to the Glebe neighborhood. Found a really nice cafe there, vegan cafe. Then I'm gonna check out the Glebe Second-hand market. Sounds really cool, but I don't have space to buy anything. But I still want to check it out. The vegan omelette at Oh My Days. Super fluffy omelette. They also have really cool pastries. You need to check them out later as well. Oh My Days, perfect place for breakfast. Oh my god. I got something to go as well. I got the panoffee croissant. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now we're gonna check out the Fleet Market every Saturday. A lot of second-hand stores and other things. We'll see. Got some sugar cane cheese. It's a really cool market, but it's so busy. It stresses me out how many people there are. I'm trying to have less clothes, so not the best place to be. <laughs> so now after the market, we are gonna check out a vegan supermarket. bought a lot of snacks. My day backpack is almost full now with sweets. So I'm gonna head back to the hostel. There, I'll show you what I got. Welcome to my hostel room. Nothing special. It's a six bed female dormitory. And yeah, it's super hot and stuffy in here. So I'm gonna show you what I bought in the vegan store on the roof of the terrace. Much better out here. I hope you can hear me all right with the background music. Let's have a look what I bought at the vegan supermarket. Shiitake mushroom crisps. I have turkey. Actually, I have two different kinds of turkey. 
I have no worries lollies. So the guy in the store said those are very traditional Australian and he recommended those. He said those are super Australian as well. Some chocolate balls, chocolate bar, another chocolate bar. Those two are Australian and I got that one. That one's not Australian, but I already know that one and it's really good. So that's it. I only bought things that don't need to go in the fridge. I'm gonna put all of those things in my room, then I'm gonna head out again. I'm about to walk the harbour bridge. You can walk on the bottom of the bridge for free, but you can actually get to the top, but you have to pay for that. You can also bungee jump from the top, I think. Definitely not gonna do that. Walking over the harbour bridge feels kind of like you're in prison, like with the barbed wire fence. Nah, it's so cool. I have a good view of the Oprah House and the harbour. Can you see those tiny tots? Those are people walking really on top of the harbour bridge. I think it's quite expensive though. We get a nice view from yeah. here as well. That was it. I crossed the harbour bridge. Now I'm looking for Wendy's secret garden. Wendy Whitley's secret garden is just the normal public park, but it looks very nice with the trees and the view of the harbour bridge. I found a little path. I'm not sure where it leads to. I think that up there wasn't the secret garden yet. It's just down here. Because here it does look like a secret garden. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that massive flower. Tree. I just walked past this uh, street sign and is it just me or does it look like watch out for zombies? Good morning, it's the last full day in Sydney. Gonna head for breakfast. I made it to the breakfast place, Miss Sina. I'm gonna have some focaccia and a cinnamon scroll with a chai latte. Super soft. Today is my beach day. The most famous beach in Sydney is of course Bondi Beach. So I decided to go to Bronte Beach. There's a really cool coastal walk. I'm gonna start off in Bronte and walk to Bondi so I can have some food there. Because in Bondi they have a vegan restaurant. Before even going to Bondi Beach, I got out at the bus stop before, so I could see the cemetery right next to the ocean. I don't know if it's weird, but I do like to visit a beautiful cemetery. Definitely not your usual cemetery. Okay, let's go to the beach. I arrived at the beginning of my walk, but might as well rest here a bit as well before I start my walk. The stupid thing is, I forgot to bring my book. Now would be the perfect time to read, but I forgot it. But that's a bummer. I was just about to set off on my walk to Bondi Beach and I found something to eat. <laughs> Gonna have my acai bowl now. And it only slightly feels like I'm lactating and I peed my pants. My bikini wasn't quite dry yet after all. I'm so cold. <laughs> but now for real, let's start the walk. Right after Bronte Beach, there's Tamarama Beach, and it looks way more chill than the other one. Just found the reason why Tamarama Beach is like so quiet. You're not allowed to swim here. The current is too strong, so it's just for surfing. I don't get much walking done because it's, it's so pretty everywhere. I keep stopping to take some pictures and to enjoy the scenery. Can you see those tiny people? So now I'll be one of them. We're almost there. It's like an amazing beach walk, but it's so busy. We made it. The most popular pool in Australia, at least the most famous one, the iceberg.
Good morning. It's my last day in Sydney. I'm gonna head for breakfast. Found the breakfast place. I had a bacon for breakfast and a mango lassi. And I'm gonna have a cheesecake. just entered the Chinese garden of friendship and there's a massive lizard thingy. I decided to visit the uh, Chinese garden of friendship, the like tranquility place. So I'm sitting here now. The Chinese garden of friendship is definitely the place to come to if you're looking for some peace and quiet in the big city. I wasn't sure if I should go here because not the cheapest garden, but it's a really cool garden. My three days in Sydney are already over. My bus is already waiting behind me. Time to check out the vegan food in the next city. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.